Members of Turkey's private sector, as well as the government department that promotes trade and investment, are in South Africa to forge greater relations. Turkey's Foreign Economic Relations Board is the equivalent of South Africa's Department of Trade and Industry and says its visit to the country along with private business underscores the importance of strengthening ties between what it says are two robust economies in their respective regions. To find out how the trip has gone so far and what the ultimate aim is, I'm joined by Abu Bakr Salim. He's the president of Takia South Africa Business Council. Thank you very much for joining us, Abu Bakr. So a lot of discussions are set to take place between Takia and South Africa and the South African government officials, as well as business this week. Who are the key players discussing uh, matters with and what's the aim of this trip? Uh, good afternoon. First of all, thank you so much for hosting me today. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, as Turkey uh, and the business delegation, of course, uh, we here to make sure that we support and strengthen the business delegation as well as businesses between the countries. In the last two days, we had the opportunity to meet a senior personnel from Business Unit to South Africa, Black Business Council. Now, as we speak, I am at IDC headquarters having discussions with IDC. And yesterday we had the opportunity to meet uh, Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry, as well as DBSA uh, senior officials at the DBSA headquarters. Going forward, we're looking at meeting with um, Mayor in Johannesburg, as well as um, Minister Patel in Cape Town when we arrive to Cape Town tomorrow. Mm, a very packed uh, session of engagements indeed. So what is it about South Africa that excites Turkish business and what's the emphasis on foreign direct investment or boosting trade relations between the two countries? Um, I think we're living in an era that as we see it's very, very unpredictable. Yes, every country has its own old relationship which is mostly closed by countries where they do most of their trade and investment. But we see that the world is changing. Therefore, countries need to create relationship with the countries that they see eye to eye. South Africa's South to South strategy, as well as Turkey's long distance strategy with the countries that Turkey finds strategic um, intention to build more partnership and investment. We see there are merits to strengthen Turkey as a economic ties. So, and when we look at economic ties getting strengthened, that start from engaging. So when we look at where Turkey is currently, in the last 20 years, Turkey became a almost manufacturing hub of the region that Turkey remains. And when we look at South Africa through the Africa Free Trade Agreement, South Africa is hoping to position itself as the manufacturing hub of the continent. And we believe Turkey can play a very significant role making and assisting South Africa to become the manufacturing hub of the continent, more than what this currently is. And when we look at Turkey's growth, it's very critical for Turkey to have partnership with the countries that also have a security of the minerals that it requires for its own growth. So when we look at South Africa and its strength in the mining and related areas, we see many potentials going forward. Yeah. No. And when we see economical changes Could... going forward, we see such as green energy, green hydrogen, solar. We see many similar industries that both countries hoping to develop. Therefore, we brought delegations that interested in partnering trading and investing in South Africa with the relevant third parties. Understood. Thank you for that outline, uh, Abu Bakr. But, you know, sometimes there's a worry about trade relations, especially when it comes to imports and exports. I see that there seems to be um, 
askew in your favor in terms of the trade relations. That is, you seem to export a lot more to South Africa than South Africa exports to you. And in terms of the content of what South Africa sends over to Turkey, it seems to be more of our raw uh, minerals as opposed to, you know, finished products. Is there an engagement about improving that, at least that South Africa is exporting more finished products to Turkey, as you guys uh, say that you're here to also boost our manufacturing capacity potential? Correct. So as an example, to support um, that strategy, we have a, a group of um, colleagues from the cosmetic industry we're engaging with the South African cosmetic industry to make sure that there are more uh, cosmetic products goes into Turkey from South Africa. We have colleagues from the uh, tourism industry. We're engaging with the South African tourism industry to make sure that there are more tourists comes to South Africa. Business to business relationship, if it is not both sides, it never carries on and grow. Mm. So intention of any organization, whether they're from Turkey or South Africa, to make sure that they look after both countries and they grow the opportunities on the both side. Indeed. From Turkey point of view, what is quite important to note that wherever Turkey's trade increases, its investments increases. So when we look at in the short term, one may say that, okay, but there is in favor of trade in one country versus another. But when we look at from a Turkey point of view, when we see we do more trade with a country, actually that's a great sign for that country that likely soon there will be much more investment in that country. Therefore, when we look at a long-term perspective, we see from time to time South Africa export more versus Turkey or vice versa. But for us, it is very critical to increase the trade between Turkey and South Africa.